Hey all and welcome back. This week we're going to talk about a Ukrainian made paracord. Tequium? Tequium? Don't know how to pronounce it, but it's made in the Ukraine. Uh, first time I've ever reviewed or played with European paracord, so let's see how it works. Stay tuned and let's find out. So before I get started, I want to first of all thank all the new people who subscribed. My volume has gone a lot higher than I ever thought it would, um, almost to that 300 subscriber point. So thank you all. I couldn't have this channel without you. The other thing I want to ask is, guys, I've out there, been out there and reviewing all different types of paracord, but I'm going to be up front. I don't know what else to review at this point. Do you guys have a product or do you have a paracord that you like that I haven't looked at? If so, drop a comment below and let me know. So just put it right down here in the comments and let me know. If there's, uh, I've tried to get some Canadian paracord, but quite frankly, without spending an arm and a leg, I can't buy it here in the States. So if you're up in Canada and have a small bit you want me to take a look at, compare it to some of the other stuff here in the States, hey, send me a message or put a note on here and we'll get in contact with each other. I'm always open to doing that, but I'm starting to run out of things and quite frankly, a lot of the stuff from China is all about the same. So um, if there's a tool or anything like that, just drop me a note and let's talk about it. So anyway, as I do a lot, I was on Amazon and uh, this brand came up as a suggestion is a 550 pound type three paracord made in Europe, which I thought, wow, that's kind of cool. I've, I've never messed with European paracord before. Um, kind of made in the Ukraine. So supporting the, the people over there. And uh, I thought I'd pick it up. They had next day delivery with Prime. So I got this and uh, this is actually how it showed up. It, um, on my doorstep just had a label right there which I peeled off so it comes in a cardboard spool um, this is not black it's like gunmetal gray is uh, I think what it was called so it says that if you can see here 100 feet for 100% nylon seven cords each cord is made up of three nylon fibers Four millimeter thickness and it's made in accordance with military spec we know that means a lot of different things so let's you know overall though I kind of like that it gives you this cardboard piece it's not a flimsy piece of cardboard it's fairly thick so uh, let's open it up and see what we think here So there's that so yeah as I said thick piece of cardboard kind of makes a nice little mini spool this is a nice way to package uh, so you don't deal with the tangles that sometimes I run into with some of the other vendors out there it does come pre uh, they melted the end so it's not like falling apart Since it's spooled already, it, uh, you know, it's got some of the kinks from where it was spooled, but it's not kinked up, which tends to happen sometimes with some of the cheaper stuff. It also has a nice feel to it. Uh, it definitely feels like nylon. Uh, it's not rough, but it's not necessarily smooth, which I'm okay with. It feels like it's there's not a lot of room in the sheath but there's some room in there but it's not like the internal strands are just like hanging around all being able to get knotted up so overall 
nice first impressions. So let's cut this bad boy open and see how it looks on the inside. So, first thing, let's verify. It does have seven sheaths or seven strands. And to their credit, these strands look nice. They're not consistent. Two of them, as you can see here, that zoom in. This one and this one, these, this one especially appears a little thicker than the others, as is this one. I don't know if that's intentional or not, but uh, there's two that appear to be thicker than the other five. I don't know if that, so that is made up of three different strands. But these other are two. So I don't know that, that if it's a quality control issue or if that's intentional. If anybody knows, please uh, message below. But I don't know that that's going to impact anything. It would possibly help the strength. But so it is legit paracord. They say it's 100% nylon. So let's burn it and see if it so I tell you, it melts really nice doesn't catch fire so that tells me one there's no, it doesn't it's not a poly nylon mix and uh, or nor is it uh, any polyester that you get with some of the cheaper uh, Chinese stuff. So since this is nylon, that means it will shrink. Uh, so if you're gonna use it for something where you want it to shrink, you may wanna consider boiling it uh, a couple of times just to pre-shrink it up. But it's already cooled. So very nice, very nice. Okay, so we verified it is. it has a nice feel. It's not overly rough. It's not overly smooth. It has the seven strands. Each strand is made up of three mini strands. So their packaging is correct. Based upon the flame, it does appear to be nylon. Um, so that's good. And it's got a nice thickness to it. As I said before, you can see that there's room in here for adjustment, but it's not overly open. The uh, It has a nice size sheath. So that is a nice thing. So, so far, I gotta give this stuff pretty good props. Let that dry and then uh, Let's uh, see how it is with working with it. I'm going to make a, a quick bracelet and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so I've been working with this stuff and I got to tell you, it is very easy to work with. Um, maybe because it's pre-spooled, it, that makes it easier. I don't know, but it's, you know, it twists up a little bit, but it, it untwists very nicely. It just works really well. It doesn't try and kink up on you. Um, so, as you can see, I'm just wrapping for this bracelet. And on the insides, I have sometimes when I do that, I, the insides try and bind up or twist. And this just goes back. So, even though I'm kind of twisting it, when I let go, it goes back to straight. So, that is really a big deal for me because when I'm making a lot of these types of bracelets for Operation Gratitude or what have you, the last thing I want to be doing is having to do a bunch of, you know, adjustments or have to mess with 
fixing that type of stuff. So just that's that's something for me. For you, it may not be as big of a deal, but for me, that that's kind of a, I don't want to say it's a game changer, but it's a pretty significant thing, especially if you're making a lot of these. And I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I'll put in a movie and I'll sit down or my family and I are sitting down watching TV and I'll just grab some of these and I or my daughter and I might make 30, 40. The, the one thing I will say, since it does have a rougher texture, I could see where my hand may get a little, uh, where I could get like a, a little bit of raw uh, patch on my thumb. So that's just something to think about. But overall, working with this stuff is a breeze. It has, as I said, it doesn't kink up. Putting it on, you know, having it on your wrist has a nice feel to it. You know, there is a space there that's more my workmanship than anything, and I can fix that. It does feel a tad bit bulkier. And if I compare it to, say, some of the others, size-wise, actually looks a little bit, this is field and stream, so this is Chinese. This is, this stuff here, the blue is the Paracord Galaxy. And I think uh, it's about the same size. So it's very similar in size to this stuff from America maybe a tad bit bigger but overall like i said it has a nice so it has a nice feel to it doesn't feel rough against the skin doesn't like if it rubs it doesn't hurt so yeah guys i think this is a um this is definitely something that I think everybody should take a look at. It um, Now, pricing-wise, on Amazon, if you were to purchase from there, they have, it depends upon the color. The, the price changes based upon the color. Uh, so, like, the black was a little bit more, and it will actually take close to a month to get to you because that is coming from directly from Europe. This is the gunmetal gray. They had some other colors that were all available on in the um, in the warehouse and those can get to you within one to two days and they are all running about $8.99 plus tax. So that's $8.99 for a hundred feet. To me that's a good deal. So based upon the usability, the um, how it tested everything else. I'm going to say that I got to give this one a 5 out of 5. If you want to try something different, if you want to support the people of the Ukraine who are making this stuff, you know what? This would not be a bad buy. So, guys, go ahead and give it a, a whirl. Check it out. And let me know your thoughts if you decide to buy some. But... Until then, keep the comments flowing. Let me know what you want me to test. And until next time, keep paracording. Later.